Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin. Today we're talking about OneDrive Files On Demand. Now, that is the new version of Windows Placeholders. Anybody who's been following me since the launch of Windows 10, or even the, the early Insider Preview builds before the launch, knows that this is what I've been waiting for forever. If you watch the last walkthrough of build 16.2.15, I promise that... Even if it's just one feature, I would make a video about this as soon as it launched. And now you can get it. Uh, you need 16.2.15. It should be rolling out to insiders today, but you can install it manually if you want it right now. And I wanted it right now. So I uninstalled it again just so I can show you the process. Um, there's a link. There's a download link. Um that's um, that one's from Microsoft. You can also uh, Walking Cat tweeted a mega link. Um, so it does take a little while. Uh, I ended up having to restart actually. So I when I first installed, I, I installed it right on top of the old OneDrive client, and that wasn't a problem. I just uninstalled it so um, so I could show you the whole process. It's going to install it. It's going to say preparing for first time use. Guys, I'd say this is like Christmas for me, but Christmas comes once a year. I've been waiting for this for over two years since the Insider Builds ditched the, the placeholders feature. Now, um, there were some prompts when I set it up before on top of the old uh, OneDrive Sync client that just kind of prompted you to set it up. And if we go to my NeoWin article, you can see some screenshots from that. We'll just run back to this. This is what you'll see if you install it right on top of the of the old client. You'll get this prompt down here. Um, that's when it is enabled. And I should probably swap out that image because that was not supposed to be the one that's there. Um, the first one you'll see looks almost exactly like this, except it says uh, the option is turn on instead of learn more. And, um, and then once it's enabled, you'll see the learn more option. Um, but what we'll have to do is we'll go into settings and you can see right here, save space and download files as you use them. We'll check that off. And now it actually takes a little bit of time. Oh, there's that learn more screen right there. So it does take a little bit of time to see its processing changes. And if we go into OneDrive, we're going to see it. It says that um, it's syncing those three folders. There's a lot more in my OneDrive and it takes a while. Trust me. Um, uh, I'd say about five minutes is how long it took last time. Uh, you might actually have to say show all files, which for some reason is, is a completely separate option. It's still processing changes. Um, I'm just leaving the recording going so you can see the time um, on the bottom right, and you can see kind of how long it takes. So now you can see it, it's running. It's it's doing all that now. Um, for some reason, there's a lot of check, check marks here as if this stuff is... Uh, Available on this device. Oh, because it's an empty folder right now. So that that's all. Um, I assume that's all going to change. So this is normally what it would look like if it's just syncing. So all this stuff is just going to kind of show up in my uh, in my OneDrive, and uh, you can see that we're starting to see uh, the folders, the file structures populated, and as those cloud icons show up, it's going to say that more things um, are available online only. So what your options are here now is you can right-click and you can say always keep on device. That'll sync the entire folder. Uh, free up space would store the entire thing online. All right. Um, it's still going. It's going to go for a while. I, last I checked, I had something like something like 50,000 files in OneDrive. It's about... Uh, 800 gigabytes um so what we can do um you can check out this brilliant image of uh we could open this in photos let's always use that to open jpeg photos all right and what that does it downloads it and then it opens it and that's that time i named my iphone the titanic just so i could say i'm sinking the, the titanic that's my brilliant humor so yeah that's how it works um it's exactly like in Windows 8.1. I don't know why this one ended up getting synced too. Um, and then that's, uh, it just said one, um, OneDrive stopped re responding. Last time I ended up having to restart the whole PC. So um, like I said, just like before, you can um, you can say always keep on device. You, uh, free up space is grayed out. That's because it's already online only. So then we can choose to sync it. And now we have the syncing icon right here. And those uh, files will be stored on the device. 
Okay. Um, and that's about it. So this is it. <laughs> it's it's really happening. Um, you're gonna have to wait, obviously, until the full creators update to to use this if you're not a Windows Insider or on your main production machine, which honestly is a bummer because I want it now. <laughs> I've been waiting for this for two years. I um. I mean, I'll I'll probably end up install. Maybe when this gets to the slow ring, I'll install this on my main production machine, because again, this is it. I've been waiting forever for this. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'm Rich from NeoWin, and have a great night.